Over the weekend at the G7 summit, U.S. President Joe Biden invited his Korean and Japanese counterparts to Washington. The talks may take place as early as this summer for expansion of cooperation, especially in the fields of security. Our Yi Shihu tells us more. Three-way talks between the leaders of South Korea, the United States and Japan could take place in Washington, D.C. as early as this summer. That's according to a report by Yonhap News Agency quoting an unnamed official at South Korea's presidential office on Monday. South Korea's Vice Minister of Defense Shin bum during his radio appearance also on Monday said that while he has yet to hear specifics, the talks could possibly take place in the summer or in September before the United Nations General Assembly. The trilateral meeting, according to reports by Reuters, was suggested by U.S. President Joe Biden during a meeting with President Yoon Sung-ya and Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida on Sunday on the sidelines of the G7. Reportedly, a specific timeline will be finalized after consideration of the three nations' political and diplomatic schedules. It's expected that the trilateral talks will involve a discussion of measures to, quote, upgrade trilateral cooperation to a new level as shared by Yoon's office Sunday. The presidential office spokesperson Lee Do-un said in a written briefing Sunday that the leaders of the three countries agreed to deepen trilateral cooperation in security, such as real-time sharing of information on North Korean missile warnings. He said there would be cooperative efforts in other areas too, such as economic security and Indo-Pacific strategies. But it's expected that the expansion of cooperation would first come in security. An agreement could possibly be made during the meeting of the three countries' defense ministers at the Shangri-La Dialogue, or Asia's premier defense summit in June. If so, the real-time sharing of warning information could begin in the second half of the year. Regarding this, South Korea's defense ministry spokesperson Chun ha said that negotiations for specific implementation plans are underway. Lee Si-hoo, Arirang News.